Welcome back people, we got another new video for you guys here again today. The first one we did on this was an absolute banger. Yes it was. We, please reconnect your controller. My controller's connected. Alright, let's disconnect it. And reconnect it. Yeah, the first video we did was on the good old fashioned free will reliant Robin. Can't beat it, Dale Boy himself. But today... We're going for a high-end one. Now, we are going to... I've got a playlist of this because I'm going to be playing a lot of it and I want to show all different cars of us upgrading. So, there's this thing called Spin the Wheel. Again, I'm still very, very new to Forza. I don't really know much about it. I'm still very, very noob style, but we <sighs> spin the wheel a few times and we, we got some serious cash out of that. I think now we're just under... Um, I think just under a million cash, which was good because we didn't even have a hundred thousand cash. So we've got some serious money now. So today we're going to be doing, as you could probably tell by the title of the video, a Bugatti. Yes, we're going to upgrade it. And I like to upgrade it by showing these videos just to see how much quicker they move. Now this... A Bugatti is fast anyway, but if we do the upgrades on it, I'm interested to see how fast... Oh, that's a nice car. Yeah, I'm interested to see how fast we can push it. So, if you're new around here, sometimes we show new games, old games, pre-ordered games. If you're interested in gaming, this is definitely the place for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Any comments, do leave in the comments section below. And if you're able to share the content out, I definitely appreciate everyone who does that. It does help us grow as a content creator. Share it to your mum, your dad, your uncle, your friends and family and all of that good stuff. I appreciate everyone. Loading was a little bit slow. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Our free willed Robert the Lion. It's a year round guide to new events and exclusive rewards at Horizon Mexico. So make sure you check back each season to see what's on. Okay. Welcome back, Chief. Okay, so we're going to change over to our Bugatti. If I can find out where it is. Um, oh, no. Yeah, no. Okay, we was in the right thing there. Look at that. YT Bubs. <laughs> oh, wow. There's lots of uh, nice vehicles there, isn't there? Uh, very very high price as well um, we're almost there there you go this one here oh, we got a Veyron as well this one looks like it's the more expensive one though and it is a little bit quicker so we're gonna select that one oh. And then we're going to go back. And then... Did I not... I'm sure I selected that, didn't I? As I said, I'm a bit newbie, so I don't really know what I'm doing. It says download. So are these like skins we can get for it then, I guess. It looks like it. It says download. Uh, Alright, let's click on that one then. Download design. Downloading. We got pretty quick internet, so it shouldn't take long to download. There we go. Insufficient. I oh, know that's to buy the vehicle. Oh, garage. My cars. That's what I needed to go to my cars. All right, there you go. There it is. Get into car. I'm sorry. You do have to bear with me a little bit. As I said, I am still a little bit newbie at it. All right, so upgrades. Don't show this message again. Um, auto custom upgrades. There we go. I wonder if we go on to the autumn. Auto. You can always give me your car. Set a performance target. Choose the parts and do all the work myself. You got an empty saddle. Count late and upgrades. 21,000. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's for the auto upgrade. Let's go to the custom upgrades. And we'll do it like that. I mean, that gives it a little bit more launch speed, but... Yeah, I don't really see much difference in that one. So let's have a look at the brakes. Uh, okay, so it brings up suspension. Okay, we get that one. Let's have a look at this. We get that. Have a look at this one. Yeah, we get that. Sashi. Okay, we get that one. Weight reduction. Cool, that makes a big difference. Now we get that, and then we go back. And we go on to this one, drive strain. I like that it gives you lots of options for upgrades. It really does. Okay, that one. Drive line. Yeah, we get that. Differential. Makes no difference, but we get one of them anyway. Go back. Uh, tires and rims. Uh, tires and rims. Mm, what do we want? There we go with that one. Yep, install. Install. Uh, rim style. Get is installed. Okay, we'll leave the rims as they are. Rim size. I mean, that is bigger, but it does make it slower, so we're not going to put that on. There we go with that. Let's have a look at the width on the rear. Yep. We'll install that. Call cool, there's quite a lot of uh, upgrades you can get for this one. Okay, front bumper. Okay, that does that does improve the handling a little bit. Let's have a look at rear spoiler. So a little bit of a change does in, increase braking power though, so we go for that. Conversion mm. gives us that really does help with the launch speed that so we get that one. Okay, we go back, install setup. 49,000 the new though look at that it takes it down to from 958 performance down to 948 mm. but we got some upgrades anyway so we go with that okay let's have a look if I click on there 998 wow 949 it takes it up a little bit but it does in mm, 149 horse, 149 horsepower still the same okay so we're not gonna adjust that so body kits that's something that we haven't yet looked at but yet that's because we can't install it on this vehicle so we will end up doing that on a different vehicle at some point we definitely will uh, see what vehicle we can install install the body kits on I'm interested to see what they got right after that long near 10 minutes 9 minutes and something odd seconds we finally got a nice upgrade wow look at that inside that is nice oh, there's so much acceleration there there is a lot of acceleration. It is quick. It, it definitely seems like it's quicker than what it was before. Oh my gosh. They ain't got enough straight road. But that road there. 
We might be able to get a bit straight on there. That's a motorway, isn't it? I think by the looks of it. We go across. We get on here and see what kind of speed we can get. We just need enough enough straight road. I don't know if we're going to get enough straight road to try and get top speed. Seven. I think it did go quicker before, you know. So one nine seven. Um, tune car. Okay. Gearing. This is what I want here on the sixth gear. So I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to adjust the first one, take it up a little bit. Adjust the second one, take it up a bit. Adjust the third, fourth gear. Fifth gear, and then the sixth gear would take that up. Okay, apply. Yes. Now, okay, that's made it slower. So I've got to take it the other way. I took it the wrong way. Okay, so tune car. Okay. Okay, so we got to we got to make that lower. And that'll give us a longer rev count on each gear, which should then produce more speed. Right, let's try that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's definitely given us a lot more. That will now get 200, easy. Oh wow. 214, 215. 220 I don't have enough straight 222 I reckon that could get 240 if we had enough straight maybe controller disconnected it wasn't disconnected I got a loose cable is that there you go There just isn't enough straight. I think doing the uh, when you tune the gears manually, though, I think that's that's a good thing. You can definitely get yourself a bit more speed, which I didn't adjust that on the free wheeler. Get to the drift zone. Round one complete. Ten minutes remaining. It's definitely going to take a long time to reach that top speed. I probably adjusted it a bit too much, if, if I'm honest. But still, very, very nice vehicle. Let's just do from zero. See what we get in first gear. Of course, like, it goes so quick I can't even see. Like maybe 50 odd mile an hour in first gear. Fifth gear, one eight seven ish. I just don't have enough straight road. <laughs> what a machine! Let me know in the comment section below if you own this vehicle. If you own this vehicle and you've done a top speed run test. Let me know what kind of speed you're getting. I'm interested to, to see what other people are doing with their upgrades and changing certain things. Let me know. Oh yeah, when I go into fourth. I think I need to change that when I go into fourth. Let me just tweak a little bit. Okay, gears. Sit. Let me take that up to like there. That way the rev counter won't be so low. Okay, let's turn around. Uh, it, the revs were on like four when it got into sixth gear, so now it should be it should be a little bit above four. Yeah, it's near five. Okay, that's better. 
that means we have reached that top speed that little bit easier the graphics look insane I am going to do a video of max graphics on this as well so make sure you keep an eye out for that Two twelve. I should be able to get a little bit better than two two twenty two now if we can get a bit of straight line. As long as I don't crash. All right, let's see. Two, oh yeah, there you go. Two thirty. Two thirty three. Two thirty four. Two thirty six. Two thirty eight. Can we get 240? Yes, 240. I said we can get 240, 241. 242 miles an hour there. Can we get any more than 242? I could probably get a little more of adjusted, but 243 miles an hour. That is not bad at all. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little, uh, little tweak there, but we're going to be doing other vehicles as well, as I said. Check out our playlist of Forza Horizon 5 as well. We've got plenty more to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out. Peace.